What is going on you guys? I'm on my way to a baseball card show. Um, typically this particular show is not very big. Um, we kind of have two shows here in the area. One is uh, I call the Bingo Hall show. They have it in the Bingo Hall. And the other one they call the Tidewater Sports Collectibles and Comics show. Um, and it's supposed to be bigger than the bingo hall show um but we went last time me and my buddy jim and man it was terrible i mean straight garbage so we're gonna give it another shot um it's probably uh probably a 20 table show but kind of the crappy part is only about 10 to 12 of the tables are um sports related the rest of them are, are comics or toys, um, stuff like that. So there's a particular guy that I like going to his booths. He has the dollar bins, um, but they're kind of like dollar vintage bins. And in the past, I've gotten some really, really, um, really good deals from him. Um, different Hall of Fame cards, um, different Hall of Fame rookies, all for a dollar. He's one of the guys that I bought his entire dollar bin about four months ago for I think 200 bucks or 150 bucks I don't remember what it was but I bought a ton of his stuff um, just because it was all really really good so I'm hoping he's there and I'm hoping he's selling some of his um, vintage cards for a dollar I don't really know if the guy knows exactly how much a lot of his stuff is um, he's one of those dudes that kind of lives and dies by the um, Beckett magazine. Not even the Beckett online price guide, but the actual magazine. And he has like the vintage book and the annual book that comes out. So um, we'll see. So I'll see. I might even do some footage inside the show. It's really not much to show. So I don't know if I'm going to waste my time. So we'll see what happens. So this is the stack of cards I got today at the show. Um, it definitely was tiny, just like I thought. Um, the guy that I was hoping would be there was actually there, and um, his dollar bins were um, popping for sure, man. So I want to give a shout out to, um, oh man, I guess I should have made sure I got the name right before I give a shout out. I believe it's Card, Card Kid, or Card Collecting with Eli, I believe it is. Um, his dad was there, super cool guy, um, actually really enjoyed talking to you, and I uh, went with my buddy Jim, um, who used to make videos here on YouTube, so it was really cool seeing, catching up with some fellow tubers. So all of these cards, until the very last one, was all a dollar, um, which is good, I mean these go for anywhere from a dollar to three dollars on ComC, so really happy to get some of these. The Dan Pastorini's weren't exactly, you know, a, a big bargain pickup. These go for about 75 cents a dollar, so I kind of probably overpaid for those. Rudy T. and Calvin Murphy, be, I'll be looking to um, TTM these and get these signed. Larry Little, um, I have this card signed, but I'm starting to pick up cards for my next player era project and I'm thinking Larry Little is going to be um, one of them, the guys. Paul Kraus. Um, I have this card signed I think a couple times but the condition I thought was really really good. I mean yes it is off centered um, pretty well um, but overall it has four pretty sharp corners and it's always good to add another Hall of Famer. Um, Harry Carson, this is his rookie card for a dollar. Um, kind of funny thing about this card is I bought this same card on eBay on an auction uh, last week for six bucks. So um, I can definitely speak firsthand that for a dollar for this card, um, it's a hell of a deal. Next is this um, Tony Dorsett which this is actually his rookie year. I guess you could say it's a rookie card. Um, but really cool to add that I didn't have this card. Leroy Kelly, he's another guy I'm thinking about doing um, on the player era sets I've been working on. 
So whenever I can pick up some of these Hall of Fame cards for really cheap, like a dollar, um, and they're in decent condition, I'm going to try to stockpile them. And once I get all their cards, then I'll probably pull the trigger on that. Bobby Bell is the one I didn't have signed. So you probably should be seeing a theme by now. All of these I got in hopes of getting signed. Um, Ron Jaworski, Jaws. I bought this card not too long ago for three bucks um, on a Greg Morris auction. So once again, it's a good deal for me. Elvin Bethay, same thing. Possible player era project in the future. Um, this was be definitely the one that I thought was the deal of the day. Um, all three of these Robert Brazil rookie cards were in the dollar bin. So really, really freaking cool. I was so happy. Um, one of them was just laying right on top. And then I seen another one kind of laying like, kind of like that. You know, and I was like, holy crap, how many of them could be in this box? Because I was going to pick up every single one of them. So I spent about 20 minutes looking through the box, and I was only able to find one more. Um, but three Robert Brazil rookie cards for $3. Um, honestly, if he had 50 of them, I would have bought 50 of them. Next is, uh, yeah, more Robert Brazil. So that's that. And um, then at the very end, uh, I talked to the same dealer. These weren't a dollar. I had bought this one and the Lynn, oh wow, the, there we go. This and the Lynn Dawson, these are the 1970 Tops. I think they're called like Top Super or something. So I would show the Lynn Dawson, but I literally just put it in an envelope um, to send it off TTM and get it in the mail. So that is that. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, wish I could have got some footage for you at the show. It just was dead zone, man. And honestly, once I walked in the door, it kind of slipped my mind. So hope you all enjoyed. Till next time, adios, be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles.